Uh, Glenda, did you finish cleaning that bathroom? Yes, I did. And please have the men in this house check their alignment. Someone is pulling to the right. <laughs> oh, Kenny, I need you to watch Andy and Meredith tonight. I'm taking Fred and his girlfriend to see Rollo the Clown. That's pathetic, Dad. You're giving up your Saturday night to watch some clown make balloon animals? No, Kenny, what's pathetic is that I'm actually looking forward to it. <laughs> Father Weber, there's a great big burly bear of a man on the porch. He says he's from the Internal Revenue Service. Internal Revenue? Yes, he says your booty tax is in arrears. Stan! See you, but I didn't know you were coming. Hope I'm not too late for lunch. No, I'll just go outside and slaughter another bison. <laughs> uh, Glenda, I'd like you to meet my old Air Force buddy, Captain Stan the Man Hamill. Charmed. What is that delicate scent? Lysol. You wear it well. <laughs> it's kind of a switch on, Stan. Usually women disinfect after they meet you. <laughs> May I have my hand back? <laughs> I love a man with large hands. Did she just purr at me? Could be. Since she's been here, we haven't had any mice. Okay, let's go. Go? Where? We gotta get to Cleveland. Well, wh what am I this time? The alibi or the accomplice? We've got front row seats for the Rolling Stones. Stones? Front row? How'd you pull that off? I got connections now. I'm hauling equipment for rock bands. Wow! The Stones? Are you ready to rock and roll? <laughs> I... I just remembered something. I have these four kids. So, just throw some food on the floor and lock the doors. It's only a weekend. <laughs> no, I made a promise to my son. Hey, my old man used to break promises to me all the time, and I turned out all right. You got any ice? <laughs> no, I, I promised Fred and his girlfriend we'd go to Piggy's Pizza. Is pizza that big of a deal? Because I got a couple of slices in the bag. <laughs> well, it's a little more than that. You see, Rolo the Clown's going to be making balloon animals. Balloons? I got a balloon in my wallet. If you have a clown in your pants, I'm leaving. Okay. I know how we can square with your kids and go see the stones. How? We find out where Rollo lives. And we go over there and we kill him. How do we find out where he lives? <laughs> This is my girlfriend, Lily. Yeah, baby. Hi, Uncle Stan. Lily, pleased to meet you. Uh, Fred and Lily have been girlfriend and boyfriend for two days. Wow, two whole days. What's that like? <laughs> you looking forward to seeing Rollo the Clown tonight? Yeah, but we'd rather see Big Bird. Big Bird? Yeah, Big Bird's in town. He's guest conductor at the symphony, but the concert's been sold out for weeks. To symphony hall? Kids, Uncle Stan can get you in to see that. Really? You'll see Big Bird this afternoon. Big Bird! Big Bird! Oh, big oh, Bird! Oh, oh, hold big kids. Bird! Can I have a word with you, Stan? Yeah, sure. Big Bird! Big Bird! <laughs> big Bird! Big Bird! <laughs> what are you doing, man? That concert is, like, seriously sold out. I got a buddy that works down at the Symphony Hall, Rick Urbanski. Oh, yeah. He'll get us in. Kids, Big Bird, front row seats. Yay! Big Bird, let's go tell my mom. Why do we always have to go to your mother's house? And so it begins. Son Stephen's angelic little face just lit up when I told him we were all going to see Rollo the Clown. Oh, well, there's been a change of plans, Bishop. We're not going. What? No, you can't leave me alone with that obnoxious little brat. <laughs> You're going with me. No, I'm afraid that's impossible. Why? Oh, I hate clowns. They sicken me. I mean, all that crying on the inside, laughing on the outside, who do they think they're fooling? <laughs> nice try, Todd, but you're going with me. Okay, but if Rollo walks an invisible dog towards me, I will go medieval on him. <laughs> that's sweet the way you got the TV set up there in the can. <laughs> Is it me or does that toilet pull a little up? <laughs> Dad, Anna was chasing me, and I don't feel good. Don't listen to her, Dad. 
that she's a lying faker. Shut up, fish face. I hate you. I hated you first. Isn't that sweet? They're playing married people. <laughs> now, this fighting between you two has got to stop. Kenny, you are officially in command. When I return, I want to see two eyes and ten fingers on these children. That means on each of them. Well, why can't Glenda babysit? Well, we have to take Glenda in case Lily wants to go to the ladies' room. Although, that is a great way to meet chicks. <laughs> Like you should be attached to an organ grinder. Don't listen to him. You look slick. Let's go get your girlfriend. Now, Fred, remember, what's the first thing you say to a lady when you pick her up for a date? Since I'm drinking, why don't we take your car? <laughs> Thank you, Stan. Well, just thought I'd give the lad the benefit of my experience. Hello? Kenny, Andy's picking his nose and touching me. Shut up, cry baby. Hey, look, I'm talking to my girlfriend, so knock it off, you two. Dad left me in charge. Why you? Because he knows I'm the only one who's old enough to be reliable. Yeah, Bobby, I'll be right over. <laughs> hey, Andy, you're in charge. No, no, you can't do this to me. He'll kill me. Yeah, but Bobby's parents are gone. Andy, don't kill her. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like Andy's in charge. Leave me alone. I don't feel good. You think you feel bad now? Wait until I'm finished with you. <laughs> on the VIP list. We'll get the passes and tickets, and we'll meet you guys out front. Righto. I'll take the children to buy T-shirts. And Stan, I'll buy a tight one for myself. <laughs> Thank God they don't sell them wet. <laughs> OK, I'll handle this. I'll just give her the old Hamill charm. <clears throat> Hello, darling. Don't you look gorgeous today? Yes, don't I? I think my white polyester shirt and clip-on bow tie really highlight my sensuality. Got my engine revving. The name's Stan Hamill. I believe I'm on the list. No, you're not. Next. Oh, uh, you might find me under Stan the man Hamill. I might find you under a rock. You might. I found him under our bushes. <laughs> You two slugs moving along. I have people who need to get in here. Hey, be careful who you're talking to. I got friends on the crew. Oh, friends on the crew? Well, let me get my Polaroid. Wow! I've never met anyone with friends on the crew before. <laughs> what would happen if I took that little bow tie and just wound it real tight like a propeller? It's connected to my knee. Go ahead and try it. Thank you, Stan. Thank you. I remember the old Hamill charm correctly. This is the part where the one being charmed sticks a nail file in your neck. One time. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, look, my friend really does know someone inside. His name's Rick Urbanski, and I know he's put Stan's name down there. Oh, here you go. Stan Hamill, my mistake. Mr. Urbanski says you can go right in. Just as soon as you pay him back the thousand dollars you owe him. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Forget all about that. A thousand dollars? How could you forget something like that? Mikey, if I had to remember everybody, I owe a thousand dollars to. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing this to me again. We get the kids down here, we get them all excited, and there's no hope we're gonna calm get. Calm down, calm down. This is very easily remedied. Just give me nine hundred and ninety-three dollars. <laughs> better fresh pizza loaded with everything including anchovies what are anchovies little hairy fish that smell like kenny's sneakers <laughs> <laughs> hey meredith the medical channel look you can see all the way inside this guy's skull <laughs> imagine what that smells like <laughs> wendy i'm really sick if you're gonna hurl, just make sure you do it in the toilet. Too late. You really blew chunks? On the floor. 
I couldn't help it. I want my daddy. Hey, don't cry. I'll, I'll take care of you. I don't trust you. Why would you take care of me? Because you're my sister. <laughs> Does that mean that you love me? I, I guess. <laughs> what should I do? Well, if Dad were here, he'd cover me with a blanket. I can do that. Then he'd get me some crack or some water. I can do that. Then he'd clean up all my barf off the bathroom floor. <laughs> Linda can do that. I'm going to go there and appeal to this woman's sense of human decency. The only thing that would appeal to that woman is a rawhide chew toy. <laughs> I'm going to find another way in. Hello? Oh, uh, now what? Look, I don't blame you for saying now what in that tone, but let me explain my situation to you. My youngest son is on his first date. More than anything in the world, he would love to see Big Bird conducting the symphony. So this morning, I promised him we'd go. That was a good plan, considering we've been sold out for eight months. Yes, well, I have a lot of faith in the goodness of the human spirit. Do you know why? You don't get out much? <laughs> no, I'm a minister. Then you should pray for that part of the brain that remembers to order the tickets before you open your big fat yap to your kid! <laughs> oh, yeah? You know, someday, you may find yourself at the gates of heaven, and your name may not be on that list. And then, maybe then, you'll learn the importance of compassion, because you will be in hell. Hey, you. I've been playing the violin since I was four. I've got a master's in musicology, and I'm working in an alley. I'm in hell now! <laughs> Budapest. The mayor of Budapest? It's worked before. Any other brilliant ideas, Mr. Mayor? Yeah. You fake a heart attack, I'll pull the fire alarm in the confusion. I'll get in and meet you at a side entrance. Okay. Well, how about this? I pull down your pants, throw you over my shoulder, carry you in there, and I'll tell them you're a cello with no strings. <laughs> With the golden horizon and smile. The end. Now I'm gonna be sick. Hey, is Dad home yet? Shh! Mary's resting. What'd you do to her? Nothing. She was sick, so I took care of her. Wait a minute. You took care of her? You expect me to believe that? It's true. I put a cold face cloth on her head and read her a book. Well, why would you do that? Because he loves me. <laughs> She doesn't look very sick to me. That's because I'm not. Fooled you, sucker. <laughs> but you threw up in the bathroom. No, I didn't. I knew you'd be too chicken to check. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> no, you won't. Because you love me. <laughs> You know, Stan, every word that comes out of your mouth could come from the butt of a bull. <laughs> now, could you just for once tell me the truth? Okay, I'll level with you. I'm not the mayor of Budapest. <laughs> Look, you, you, you'd understand if you had kids. From the moment they're born, the world conspires to pull them away from you. The only bond a parent has with a child is trust. Now, if I lose Fred's trust, I lose a piece of Fred forever. Did you, did you see that? Yeah, I do understand. Well, I'm off to the stone. See ya. Wait a minute. You're not going anywhere. I'm going to find Fred and Lily. I'm bringing them back here. And you're going to tell them why they can't get in to see Big Bird. Listen, sir. <laughs> when my friend comes back, tell him I'll see him the next time I'm in town. Oh, hey. Have you got the tickets? Uh, no, they're not back here. Why don't you try Will Call? Okay. Wait a minute, well, you forgot the kids. Where's my dad? Oh, I see you got your t-shirts. Great, let's go home. Go home? Fred's dad promised.
promised we'd see Big Bird. Yeah, he promised. Yeah, that's true, but uh, see, Fred's dad didn't make that promise, I did. See, sometimes I tell people what they want to hear, even though it's a lie. You're right, that is very bad. I should try to be more like Fred's dad. He's a great guy. He's honest, he's sensible, he's reliable. You can always learn something from him. It's always important to tell the truth. And you see, guys, the truth is, <coughs> you ain't gonna see Big Bird. We're not seeing Big Bird? Not afraid not, son. Fred! Lily! Look who I just bumped into! Big <laughs> Big Bird! Hey, Fred. Hi, Lily. Hey, I was just getting my conductor's baton, and then your dad fell in my window. <laughs> it is one giant bird. Oh, and uh, who are you? I'm Big Stan. But you shouldn't be talking to me. I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I, I, I love you, Big Bird. I think you're cool. Oh, thanks, Father Mike. So, Fred. I remember on Sesame Street. <laughs> I remember when you, you, you went to get lunch, you went fishing for Wolfgang the Seal. That was awesome. Oh, <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> anyway, Fred... At the time... <laughs> the time you saw Snuffleupagus, no one believed you. I believed you. <laughs> thanks for believing in me. <laughs> I, 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 I love your alphabet song, too. That really rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, Father Mike, it's important to take turns. <laughs> and now... It's Fred and Lily's turn to talk to Big Bird. <laughs> yeah, Mikey, respect the bird's pecking order. <laughs> Say, kids, I I'm sorry you didn't get tickets, but I think I can find some seats for you backstage. Wow, Fred, this is the best date I ever had. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> well, come on, let's go. Come on, Glenda, let's go inside. Enjoy the stones. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Big, Big Bird. Bird. Bye. Oh. Watch, Watch your head. Your head. <laughs> well, look like Fred and his date are on their way to a great time. And how about you, Stan? Did you learn anything? Yes, I did, Michael. I learned that you gotta be nuts to have kids. Well, now that you've learned something... Let's get ready to rock and roll! And I'm playing live! Charlie Watts ruled! Her name is Lily. She's with Fred Weber. Her mother really wants her to wear this sweater. Oh, that's the first time I've heard that one today. Move it along. Look. I know you have a thankless job. Shoot, I'm underappreciated where I work, too. In fact, I bet you're a very, very intelligent, artistic person. Oh? And if you don't mind me saying so, you're pretty easy on the eye, also. You're smooth. I like that. All right, I guess I could bring this in. Here. Thanks. Just do me a favor, watch the door for me. Sure. Don't let anybody in unless they're on that list. All right. Excuse me, where do you think you're going? Well, the intermission is over, and I have to go back and conduct the symphony. Okay. That's the first time I've heard that today. <laughs> well, but I'm Big Bird. Yeah, and I'm... Well, you are Big Bird. Yeah. I love you. I really love your alphabet song. Oh, really? Sorry, you're not on the list. 